perfect right now, trust me. One. Yep. Four pounder, baby. <laughs> yeah, baby. What did I say? Well, number two, Cooper Gallant and Danny McGarry. All right, yeah. Cooper Gallant coming up here next, and Danny and Larry coming up together. A uh, cool thing today was they actually had a cameraman on their boat all day today. Cooper's been doing very well. Actually, both been doing very well with uh, your uh, your media and everything you've been doing. You guys been doing really good. 18 pounds. We're going to put you guys in the first place. 1836. We're going to make that official, honey. Take the lead, 1838. 1838, even better. You got it. Can't be that one. And uh, again, they've been doing very well. You can actually follow their, uh, they've been doing really good on social media as well, too. So Cooper Glenn, Dan Gary, right here beside you, right in front of you. And uh, job well done. Reaching in, and there you go. Pow. Come on, big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Some nice fish for you. And uh, you could be looking at a team that could be going down three times in a row. And uh, let's hope that can happen for you guys. Swallowed a piece of gum the other day. You think gum's worse than that, or better than that? I can't chew that. Not chew it, but you could swallow it. That. <laughs> I would pass out if I swallowed that. No, you that. wouldn't. You'd probably. Oh. oh. What's that? <laughs> not Ben. How do we not it's have ben. hooks? It's like, a, it's like a circle hook. Oh, that don't work. I got one here. That looks like a four off. <laughs> Probably a that's couple. What, that's what five, four days of practice looks like. You better clean this mess before I bring my stuff in here. It'll get lost in the jungle. <laughs> Had a little bit of wire issues, but he's getting her all fixed up. Thanks, Dad. <sighs> all right, let's get to bed. Yeah. See you, care. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Dad. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Day two is about to start. Yesterday we had 18.30 something. We're sitting in eighth place going into day two. Um, we have this one little spot where we know there's some big ones. We're gonna start there first thing in the morning, hopefully catch one or two or five. <laughs> That'd be nice, but uh, we got a lot of work to do with a lot of big bags. I think 22 and a half's leading, Cal Clemson. Caught a giant mixed bag, so we got some work to do for sure but I'm stoked to get out there. Top 20 fish day three. We're looking to fish day three and be sitting good. Uh, like to get down south again, so. That's the ultimate goal. The money's nice if we won, but the ultimate goal is to get back down to the Coast Championship for a shot at fishing the Forestwood Cup again. Ready to rock? Get the plug out, right? Nope. Uh, good, get in. Hopefully Nadine, Bertha, and all their sisters are in this net today. lost way too many dead ones. Oh, slowly catching them.
chirping them while you're filming. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Is that your biggest? Uh, probably. You got more than 14. Oh, you got. And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> <laughs> we can't just go. Who says, Peter? Up next, Team 37, Dan Risotto and Gerard Cox, AD 29. Absolutely. You want to talk about those adjustments? Who's next, Peter? I don't know if you know these guys. Team number eight, Cooper Gallant and Danny McGarry. They need 25-46 to take the lead. This is the fourth year of the FLW Canada Cup, and hey, these guys have qualified for the Coastal Championship twice in their career. Young guns that are the real deal. Bring it out. 1680. 1680, you'll finish on Championship Saturday. The six of fish. These guys have qualified two out of three years for the Coastal Championship. They're trying to make the FLW Cup. Cooper, Gallant, and Danny McCary. These guys catch them. The young guns for FLW Canada. Currently in sixth position. Good job, guys. Good job, guys. Let's talk real fast. Hey, Danny, I'm going to put you right here. Coop right here. So here we go, man. Back uh, back in championship Saturday. Uh, you've been there. Let's see. This will be the fourth time. Yeah, it's uh, really exciting. I hope we can uh, squeeze in there and go for a mega bag tomorrow. That's it, buddy. So, hey, listen. You know how this works, man. Magic fireworks takes place on championship Saturday. Go win this thing. We're going to try. If we make it till tomorrow, we're going we're gonna to go out and try and catch a mega bag. We thought we had like 15, between 50 and si 15 and 16. So we're excited to have a decent bag today. Get back out tomorrow and try and crack them. All right, so we are on live right now, guys. Anybody want to give a shout out to on FLW Canada Live? Yeah, I'd like to thank Cooper. I'd like to thank his dad for coming down and working on our uh, working on our boat the last uh, couple days, getting everything rigged and ready. My parents, my girlfriend, and uh, the cooperators Bowmanville and Cooper who wants to thank some people too. I think. There you go, Coop. Yeah, all my friends and family, all you guys for coming out and watching. Chris, you for coming all the way down here, and uh, Andy, everyone at CSFL and FLW Canada, Mercury Marine, Durham Tourism, and again, all my friends and family. Thanks, guys. Some of the best young anglers in the sport today that FLW has to offer. Great job, guys. Good job, Coop and Danny. I'll see you guys at the top 20 meeting. You'll be there. Who's next, Vita? Team number 13. Dinner now. What's that? We're just going to walk over right there for dinner because oh, I think the rents are already there. Okay, sounds good. Hey, come on, <laughs> Stoked. Pumped. Can't wait to get out. Going for a mega bag tomorrow. I'm tired. <laughs> Super tired. It's been a long week. Tons of fishing. Didn't have that great a day today. Stayed in it. Eighth place. Today a couple was pounds behind. Today was tough. Like we had what was it, 16 and a half? 16. It was like crazy. Crazy tough. Uh, we had all our good stuff. Wasn't going. Um, and then we, we just. a couple big girls. Yeah. And then we just, you know, kind of fished by the seat of our pants, fished what we knew, went with our gut, and uh, had a decent limit. And we were in eighth after day one. We're in eighth after day two. Going into the final day tomorrow. Big ground to make up. Three or four pounds out a second. About eight from Cal and less. We've had a couple monster bags. Um, but we're gonna try and do it. We wanna get down to Lake Cumberland for another Coastal Championship. So, I wanna win. Yeah, I would love to win. I would wanna win, but the ultimate goal is getting back down to the Coastal Championship. It's, uh, man, after being there once, being so close to moving on, I wanna get back there so bad. So bad. So first or second place teams go down. It's on Lake Cumberland, like Dan was saying. And uh, man, we don't even have a game plan for tomorrow. I think we're just gonna go out and 
go fishing and do what do what we know out here and go with our gut and I think we're gonna gamble a little bit probably either gonna come in with a pretty good sack or uh, not so good at all I think there's no in between we're either gonna have a big bag or we've seen the Dean before and uh, I hope we meet up with her and a couple of her sisters tomorrow uh, so. Bertha yeah hopefully they're chewing 20 pounds that's the goal Stay tuned, we'll see you in the morning. <laughs> I could fall asleep right here. What's that, Dan? Shot the Dean and Bertha and their cousins and aunts and uncles are all waiting for us. Oh yeah, it's up like a baby. Me too. Yes, we have a great day. Coop, have a great day. You and Danny catch him. It's a big walleye. Excited. Oh, oh, that's not a bass. That's a sheep head. Don't ever bite again, okay? Especially in a tournament. He thinks he's still hooked. <laughs> <laughs> If it was 39 hours, we'd be winning. Oh, yeah. <laughs> big sheep head, big pipe. I don't know about the biggest wall. Just crean it in. Take your time. Don't hold your I'm not. I'm not. It's over four. It's over four, isn't it? Racing has a big one. Yes, he swam right in the net. What's a tank? Five plus? Five, yeah. Yeah, baby. That's what we need on the last day. Let's see him. Five? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, good one, walleye. Oh no, no, big one, big one. Good one, big one, giant. Help me up. <laughs> my phone's in my pocket. Dude, you're insane. That's a giant. I thought it was a walleye. <laughs> Absolute giant. That's over. Oh, baby. Go Yep. No. Yep. Come on. Yep. Oh, it's a giant. It's a giant. In the net. 
Fuck the back car. Get in there, get in there, right? Look at Yeah. Close. That's five. Oh, I'm shaking, boys. I'm shaking. Just goes to show, ladies and gents, never give up. We have like half hour left to go. That's what we decided to do today. Is just risk it for the biscuit, basically. We know if we get bit, it's gonna be big, so. I thought it was a walleye, dude. It came up, it looked so long. I'm like, oh, walleye. Yep. Let's see. We have a rat largey too. No, the other one's a two and a half. Oh, is it? We don't have much time at all. We have like 20 minutes fishing, maybe. Yeah? Good one? Huh? I haven't seen him yet, but he feels good. Yep. What call? Oh yeah. For sure it will. Half pound. You ready then? The fourth year, these guys have won this event. They finished second last year. So in the first three years of the FOW Canada Cup, twice they punched their tickets to the Coastal Series Championship. Wait, wait, wait. No. So the best young anglers in the game wait, today, wait a the sale, the sale. We've got a lot of uh, media with these guys. Wow! Catching the kickers on Championship Saturday! guys man we didn't have we had about six pounds hang on hang on hang on are you ready let's do it And Cooper and Danny, their Where's best the day one? is Championship Saturday, day three, yeah, 55 baby. pounds, and the play of 20 in three days for your new leaders. Wow! I'm freaking right now. Get front and center over here, guys. Front and center. Right here, guys. It's fall. You're on FLW Canada Live. Guys, Andrew and Jack, great event. Nice, boys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go talk about it, guys. Danny on Thank one you. side, Coop on the other. Cooper Gallant, Danny McGarry, you guys, um, 
we've been doing this for a long time. Very good friends with these guys. We message each other. We call each other all throughout the year. Brian Thruff won the FOW Cup last weekend. Cooper sends me a message says, hey, man, Thruff's a freak, isn't he? <laughs> well, let me tell you You're a freak. I mean, this is an incredible performance on championship Saturday, 19.82. It's the biggest bag of the day. You just saw the biggest fish weighed in. It seems like when it's the toughest, when it matters the most, when it's a championship day, you guys perform at your best. Coop? It was not easy. We had six pounds at two o'clock. <sighs> Crazy. I'm pumped. Uh, I, don't I'm know, pumped. I don't even know I'm what to pumped. say. I don't even know what to say. What do you want... think about it? All right. Danny, you know what to say? Uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't one of those days till about 2 o'clock, like Coop said. We had uh, that big smallie there at like 10.30, and uh, it was starting to go downhill, and then we rolled to one spot, fished it. Coop was just about to pull the trolling motor up, and he said, I need to throw this one thing out. And he cast it out, caught one of those largies. Uh, we unhook to throw it in, and he throws back out and catches another one on the back-to-back -back cast, those two big ones, so I turned it around like that, and it was just a magical afternoon, so I can't believe it. <laughs> if you guys think Danny's really good on the mic, huh? Cooper's really good on the mic too, right? So everybody here wants to know one thing. What was that one thing that you threw on the bay? No, I don't want to say. It was a crankbait. Yeah. And we're 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 fishing our area with the jig. It's a it's a it's a pretty small spot, and we fished for like half an hour. And uh, I don't know. I just had this gut feeling. I'm like, there's got to be fish here. And picked up that crank. Literally first cast. We have it all on film. My brother Colm was out. Thanks, Colm, by the way, for coming out and shooting the whole uh, whole tournament. We got it all on film. And uh, yeah, literally back to back casts. Those two big largies and that changed the day and I don't know, I'm super, super stoked. I thought we had about 17 and a half. Uh, I just want to say thanks to my mom, dad for coming out. Again, Colin, all my friends and family, all you guys. <laughs> Pete, Pete and Mark Garnier, we stayed at their house all week. Nana, Pa, love ya. Uh, Mercury Marine, Durham Tourism. Chris, you for coming out. Thanks, Everyone man. at CSFL and FLW Canada. Thanks so much, guys. Coop, is he a class act or what? All right, before I let you go, let's just talk about a little bit of history, man. It's a year ago this week that, uh, that you finished second in this event. You punched your ticket back to the Coastal Championship. You have won this event in your career. We just talked to a Jason and Fern, Fern Campo, uh, former champion of this event, who's been to the Coastal Series. Uh, what's it like going down and fishing against Brian Thrift? Fishing in that Coastal Series Championship because listen, the money spins, the hardware lasts forever. That cup right there, that's a heavy dude right there. That's a, that's a that's a symbol of success. But I want to tell you something about this great game that we're a part of, man. The friendships that you make last a lifetime. That's what this sport is truly all about. And uh, last year at the Coastal Championship, Gunnersville, last November, I introduced you to Brian Thrift. And I told Brian, you remember what I told Brian? I was like, man, this guy right here, Cooper Gawain, is the real deal. <laughs> He's the real deal. And he's the most, and Brian Thrust one of the most humble guys in the game today. He just won the cup, $300,000. All right, but listen, this is what it's all about. Opportunities through FLW. Absolutely. The, uh, the experience down there is incredible. Me and Dan were just saying, it's going to be so close. Uh, man, I haul first or second real bad. I know Cal got him pretty good. It's still going to be tight between first and second, but uh, keep our fingers crossed. You got it. Uh, any final words for a great crowd? Anybody watching you on FOW Canada Live? It's your time. Yeah, thanks a lot for everyone coming out. Big crowd here today in Trenton. Uh, thanks to FLW, CSFL for uh, putting this on. Uh, my friends and family for coming out. The cooperators, Bowmanville. And uh, thank you, Chris, for coming up. It was awesome, man. You got it, Danny. We go way back, man. Coop. Again, all my friends and family, my sponsors, Mercury Marine and Durham Tourism, and... Uh, all you guys. 55 pounds of Bay of 20 bass in three days for Cooper Gallant and Danny McGarry. Right there. The king of the hill. Don't worry. Hey, look, we'll edit that later. Oh, we can't. We're live. It's all good, man. Right there. Vita, who's next? Team number seven, Eric Luzak and Ashley Ray. Oh, wow. Wow. Day one, 18.1. Day two, 17.44 for total. Bay weighed in 17.70 on day one. 
1874 on day two for a total weight of 36.44. They need 1858 to take the lead. How's your heart? <laughs> yeah, that's going pretty good. <laughs> Hang it in there, man. You've played this game before. You've been in this situation several times in your young careers, man. Five teams left. You just need to finish top two. Top two. Today's weight, 1628. 1628. Let's see some fish. Let's see your full base bass. Next team. I've got to check in with our leaders. Cooper and Danny. See that, man? I was an athlete back in my former days. Uh -huh. They were former a long time ago. All right, man, four teams left, so we can do some math here. Are you going to be feeling pretty good about things? Uh, it just gets more nerve-wracking as the boats come in. Uh, <laughs> the pegs tend to get bigger, so I don't know. We'll see um, some big sticks coming in. So. Absolutely. Yeah, it's going to be so close. It is. Yeah. It is. Well, you guys waited a big stringer on a championship Saturday, so... They're going to have to have them. You guys put the pressure on those top guys. Yeah. There's still, what, three boats? Four. Four. You're looking down death row right there, aren't you? <laughs> Four boats. I don't know. We'll, fly. we'll have to find out. Let's keep it rolling. <laughs> yeah, good luck to you, man. I'm wishing the best of luck. All right, here we go. Vita, who's next? Up next, team number four, Bob Azumi and Darren Azumi. Oh gosh. They weighed in 2148 on day one, 1652 on day two for a total weight of 38 pounds. They need 1702. Today's weight, 1644. 1644! Wow! Same we, we thought we had like 13 or 14 pounds, so I'm like ecstatic right now. My, I might not look it on the outside, but this is like the 10th day we've been on the water between between tournaments and stuff, and we haven't missed a beat. A lot of days still dark, and uh, this old boy's feeling it. I, I need some youth like Cooper and Danny over there. Man, those guys will sleep in their truck and uh, fish sun up to sundown and, and not even eat. And, well, I'm, I'm surprised he's got like a Gatorade over there. Man. They don't even drink or anything all day. They're, they're machines. <laughs> Let's see some fish from the Azumis. Let's see your four bass bass. Uh, the limit today, and there's the four kickers, the anchor of the Azumis. Great people. Danny and Coop, your lead is safe, but you've got three teams left. Vita, who's next? Team number three, Darcy Assistine and Ben Assistine. They weighed in 17.62 on day one, 20.42 on day two. For a total weight of 38.04, and they need 16.98. Had over 20 pounds yesterday. Yeah. Do they have it? 16.98. Extra close. Extra close. What is it? Today's weight, 16.28. Oh, yeah. 16.28. Let's see your four best bass. Team number two, Jack and Ben. Thank you so much. Good job, congratulations. Thank you. One twenty oh eight on day two for a total weight of thirty nine forty. They need fifteen sixty two to take the lead. Good job, buddy. Thanks, Jasper. Looking for fifteen sixty two. Here's a defining moment for Cooper and Danny. So far, Coop and Danny have the biggest bag of the day, over 19 pounds. Wow! Holy! Biggest bag of the tournament! Wow! To make it official! 54, you're champions! 24-54! Wow! wow. A 24 pound bag! You guys, Danny, get right there, Coop right here. It's amazing, your run. Yeah, it's incredible. Boy. It's incredible. That FOW Canada Cup, four years, 
three out of the four years you have punched your ticket to the Costa Series Championship. How do you do it, man? I know you put a lot of time on the water. I don't know. We just, uh, me and Dan work hard. We work hard like crazy, and we never give up. I think that's the biggest thing. Uh, like I said, today at 2 o'clock, we had six pounds. We had that big smallie and a cute large mouth, and that's all we had at 2 o'clock, and we were paused the whole entire time, rolled up to one spot, caught our two biggest large mouth back-to-back -back casts on a crankbait, and... Uh, by the way, something crazy happened during those two fish that we caught. I'm not going to say it. I'm going to post a video this week. So we can see it? Coolest fish catch ever. You guys will have to check it out. I'll post it on my Instagram or my website this week. So There you go, Coop. Then you guys came from eighth place. I mean, that's pretty far back, especially the top two, three teams were smashing them first round. And uh, you come from eighth place to put yourself in contention for the cup title. Yeah, it definitely wasn't easy today. It was a total grind, like we said, and uh, we were doing the math last night, running through our heads of what we needed today, and uh, we knew there was a bit of a weather change coming, but the boys always smash them, so we're just really happy, and uh, another year that we get to go down Lake Cumberland this year, I'm really looking forward to it. So. Absolutely. It's a deep, clear water fishery. 68 pounds. You win by over 13 pounds. Thank you. You stand back. Oh, yeah, two and a half. Thanks for tuning in. God bless you. We'll see you next year. Have a great night.